Hi boys and girls, I wanted to give you a few tips and some helpful instructions for how you are going to begin remote learning on Monday. Or if you're an in-person student on Monday, um, you will be beginning remote learning on Tuesday so you can use these tips then. So when you open up your computer, you are going to have this green square icon at the bottom of your screen. Do you see where my cursor's at? You're going to click that green icon. It looks like a chalkboard with people's faces on it. That's your Google Classroom icon. When you click on that, this is the page that it's going to bring up. It's going to bring up a page that says Miss Farthing's Firsties, and you'll see there's a picture of me reading and waving. This page is kind of just like a cover page. This page won't have a lot of information on it throughout this school year. The first thing you're always going to do is you're always going to click on classwork. The classwork button will be where all of your assignments and activities are at every day. So you're going to click on classwork up in the top corner. Do you see where, or not the top corner, I'm sorry, the middle of the top of the screen. When you click on classwork, it will take you away from the page that has Miss Farthing's pictures up at the top, and it's going to show you a page that looks like this. Underneath each section or each day will be all of your activities for the day. Now, you won't be able to see any of this yet because it won't release that day's activity until that morning. So right now, you're kind of getting a sneak peek at tomorrow's assignments, um, but this is what it will look like. They'll have It'll have headings and it'll tell you what to do each day. So on Monday, you're going to do everything that's underneath Monday. On Tuesday, you'll do everything that's underneath Tuesday. And then there will be some daily things that you'll do every day. Let me show you something very, very, very important when you are doing presentations. When you're watching presentations of me teaching or PowerPoints, there's something very important that you have to do. So for example, our reading for the first several weeks is going to be done as a PowerPoint that I made. So when you open up the assignment and click on the assignment, this is what is going to come up. My screen's loading. This comes up. It's loading. Now, boys and girls, this will seem like a lot of work in the beginning, and it might seem overwhelming, but I promise you we will get through this, and we'll take it a day at a time. Here we go. Now it's coming. Okay, so this is what your page will look like when you begin. You're going to see PowerPoint presentations like this on a lot of days. Before you start watching and doing the activities, you're going to click up here to the present button. Do you see the present button? When you click present, it's going to make your screen full screen. Now the stuff will work. If you would have done it in the, the other way before you clicked present, it would not have worked. So you want to make sure that you click present. It's still loading. There you go. And now you'll be able to click on things. So you can click on this button and it'll read you the directions. Welcome to Smart And you can click on the Welcome. blue arrow and it'll take you to the next page. And you click on the blue arrow again and it'll take you to the next page. Anytime during the presentations that you see a speaker icon, you're going to click on it because it's either going to have directions or learning material for you. When you're done with every page, you'll click on the blue arrow on the bottom corner to move on to the next slide. So remember, anytime you see a speaker, make sure you click the speaker. And anytime you see a blue arrow, you'll always click the blue arrow to go on to the next activity or the next slide. Let me get out of this and let's go back to our main Google Classroom page. When you go back to this page, you don't want to X out of the whole internet. When you're done with this activity with, and you've gone through all of the slides, you can just click this X that's up at the top of your screen. So you see where my cursor went up at the top? You can click that X 
to get rid of just the presentation and it will take you back to your Google Classroom page. I know this seems like a lot and I don't want you to get overwhelmed. Like I said, we will work through it together. But the three main things I want you to know are you're always going to go to the Google Classroom icon on the bottom of the screen. When you get to Google Classroom and you see the picture of Miss Farthing's class at the top, this blue picture, you're not in the right place yet. You're getting there. You have to remember to click the classwork button at the top. Starts with a C. That's what you'll click and it'll bring you to the day's activities, okay? I thought that these might be helpful for you um, before you start your first days of lessons tomorrow. For my A students, I will see you in class tomorrow. For my team B students and my remote team students, I hope you have a fabulous first day and I cannot wait to hear from you. Bye-bye. I hope this helped.